how does a Celtics team improve in the offseason? Like, who should be their head coach? I don't really see too many obvious ways this team can improve. Well, so Jason Kidd just turned down kind of like this Portland job. So I don't think he's satisfied with just being an assistant coach. I think maybe he has a little bit of intel, maybe the Sixers, mm-hmm. uh, or not the Sixers, maybe the Celtics uh, gave him a little intel, like, hey, you could come here and coach or something like that. So that's who I'm expecting is going to be the coach. There's 610K under the tax, which basically means they don't have any cap space to right, work around these guys. So next year, you can have Kemba, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Marcus Smart, Tristan Thompson, uh, Aaron Lee Smith, Peyton Pritchard. You can probably re sign Fournier. And then you have your first round pick and a second round pick. Yeah. So you have you have those picks there. You have all your picks in the future. You have Kemba Walker's thirty six million. I think it's time to move on from Kemba. Make a big trade. Get some young guys in. Get some rotational pieces around the Tatum's. Let Smart run the PG. I think it's time for Kemba Walker to go. Yeah, I think outside of guys like Neesmith and those those young guys you mentioned, like just developing really quickly into players that can help you win right now. The only way to to get over the hump for this team is to trade Kemba. Like, yeah. I don't know how they're going to do that though. Cause like you said, 36 mil, he hasn't been healthy in since he got to the Celtics. Um, and like, he's going to have to be traded for probably another, if they don't want to touch too many picks, it's going to have to be another one of those ugly contract guys. Like Porzingis maybe comes to mind, but like, I think I do agree. Like maybe you attach like their first round pick. Do they have, yeah. they probably have a couple of first round picks, right? They have all um, the first round picks. Yeah. So I don't know. It, it's going to take that. I don't, maybe Danny age wasn't comfortable doing that i don't Sharing know like, all the picks yeah. maybe brad stevens will be who knows i don't know how he is as a gm yeah so that's the one thing we don't know how brad stevens is because if we were danny yeah. age we could just always basically say danny age is not attaching four first round picks that are unprotected yeah. to go get a superstar but that's the reason why he's out and he did retire well that's kind of a nice way to put it because they didn't want to fire him because they had such a good relationship and such a good tenure. So they're like, hey, Danny, yep. Ainge, can you retire? Because we don't want to fire you. And he's like, yeah, sure. So he's out of there. Those picks, I think, aren't safe. I think they're going to get lined someone big. We don't know who that someone big is, but mm-hmm. I think they're going to line someone big for Kemba Walker. And that could be in terms of like one player who's making $12 million and one player making 24 to try to get some more depth on this team because that's something that's severely lacking. Yeah, for sure. Like other than other than him being traded for like a Westbrook size contract or something like that, yeah. I I don't like I don't really see those trades as too likely. Um, realistically, it's probably going to be like you said, a couple of guys adding up to that thirty six, and then attaching a bunch of picks to get someone to take this risky, you know, Kemba contract. Yeah, and someone people might not like this, but uh, Malcolm Brogdon, for example, mm. and Miles Turner for Kemba Walker and like four picks. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but I'm just saying that's the type of yeah, depth they're looking like for. Because right. they're not going to land a superstar like Bradley Beal. At least I don't think so. Bradley Beal is worth more than Kemba Walker and picks. Yeah. So look for someone like Malcolm Brogdon, Miles Turner for Kemba mm-hmm. for like four first round picks. Yeah. Is there a Pelicans trade in there somewhere? Like Ingram is probably too high. Uh, I, I just I just don't think I think Pelicans I don't think Kemba Walker is the guy yeah. I think they have Zion they only have a bunch of picks I think they're like the same spot as the Celtics trying to land a superstar rather than trade one away in Ingram thanks for watching subscribe here so you never miss the best clips from stretch the floor hit the links in the description below to find us on all podcast platforms and follow us on Instagram